Good morning and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Smoky but cooler and windy today so yeah you can't get perfect. A little good with a little bad. Anyway let's get to it. Well 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 who do we have here? Hi Bu <laughs> Hi sweetheart. Oh that's my guy. Hi buddy. How you doing? Oh, you're very nice. Hi, is that a pussy cat? Hi. 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 How you doing? Yeah, that's just Buddy. He's not that scary. That's a little tight on your head, isn't it? Yeah. Get very, very pretty. <laughs> well, we're not gonna let him loose. We're just gonna. Hi, you're a handsome lad. This is the ram of the day. The ram of the day. We haven't named him yet. I thought we was calling Lincoln. Lincoln. Alison. Yep. Hi, buddy. How's his teeth? Spot on. Good. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually really spot on, honey. Perfect. He looks nice. Might be a little low on his front pasterns again. Yeah, just a pretty heavy uh, meat lamb. But, uh, but I still like this guy. Oh, buddy. This is well, the guy see. I really like anyway. You can see his, uh, when you stop him, you see his back feet stop in the right place. Yeah, his, back, his, his placement is really nice. Yeah. The only thing I would fault him for is he's a little down on the front pasterns. Uh, just get more exercise. Not a lot. But uh, he looks funny like he's got a big body and a small head because I've been trimming the wool off him. <laughs> so I got all his neck wool trimmed off. Who's that? Hi, is that a pussycat? Buddy, what do you think? <laughs> the angle there doesn't look too good. I think it's one foot again. Well, actually, now there he looks a bit better. Hi, what do you think? I know you shouldn't, I know, I know you shouldn't encourage it, eh? Mm -hmm. But you know the sun feet? Yeah. Thousands of years ago, that sheep had four hooves. Yeah. Okay. So, four toes. Yeah, four toes. So, so now, now there's only two left. So naturally he's, now the two back ones are not there anymore, the, the, the bottom one. So now we have to get him to walk on those little tippy toes like that. We're going to make him walk like that. But, yeah, I, yeah. Hi, buddy. You are a handsome lad. Yeah, I do like you. You're very friendly. How, how, can, you, Hi. how can you condemn the whole ram for that? And it's actually not a real critical thing. But, yeah, you don't want to encourage it, eh? No, it's just a minor fault. That, that, I mean, every, I've yet to see a perfect one. That's, <laughs> he's curious though. Is that a nice pussy cat? Oh, buddy, show off for him a bit. Make him relax. Oh yeah, that'll make him relax. <laughs> what do you think? Is that cat silly? Uh, he's not a threat anyway, is he? Well, because, yeah, I guess Buddy doesn't go in that barn too often. He probably thinks it's a parasite. <laughs> is that a nice pussy cat? What is that thing? This is the ram of the day, honey. Every day I'm going to take a ram out. Oh, <laughs> don't let him step on Buddy by mistake. I'm that would hurt. I'm going to take a ram out one morning. Oh, yeah, that'll be a fun one. Yeah. Maybe I'll get a little bit of practice on that first before I do it. Mm. 
Yeah, this guy is actually pretty good on a leash. Consider yeah. this is his first time. But long. he's a bit of a pet, eh? I like that this guy. I love to attention. See, he's Hi. Yeah, when he walks, he does really good. Hi. Oh, you grinding your teeth. Want to show people what you look like? Well, he's, well, he's really good for his first time. He must be another gladiator, likes the attention. I like Way him. above average. Oh yeah, uh, he, he's always one of my favorites. He's from, uh, I think, I can't rem remember if he was from Quincy or Hilton right now. I checked him. I think he's another Quincy. Well, we should, uh, well, oh, buddy. Hey, buddy. Come, Come here. Well, we got a tattoo and maybe we can tattoo these guys. Oh, but... Hi, it's all right. Well, he loves the attention. It's all right, honey. Yeah, I know. I know. You're, you just need some comforting. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Where are you going, Bob? Where are you going? Maybe you want some grass. Well, most of these want to go back to the group, but he actually wants to explore. Oh, there's your cousin. Can we we'll see your cousin? <laughs> well, his dad is over there. <laughs> Your dad's over here. Oh, that's not your dad. Hi, buddy. How you doing? You look nice. You look really nice. Yeah, well, now they're getting their weight back. They're starting to look better again. Hold on, don't hit me. Your dad's over there. Here comes more to see. Come on, Calvin. Who's over here? Oh, he's a nice baby, isn't he? <laughs> the others are like, can we bother? And you see all the young ones come up. The older ones couldn't be bothered. Your dad's over there, but he's, he's being a bit lazy about coming to see you. <laughs> He's wondering where his buddies are. Hi, Scotty. Is there a ram here? <laughs> I fell in. Is there another ram here? Well, this is the one that has a little bit of weed on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cal good, That's Calvin. He's just <laughs> tall, eh? Huh? He's a little more slender for the people who want <laughs> a little less bulk. Well, I say uh, we'll do this barn when we come back. Just mix your balls. Let's do the other barn. We're going to go back. He let, um, he let Leonard and Linus out again. Here. <laughs> Aren't you going to take it? Linus, are you abusing that ram? Linus! Linus! <laughs> Linus! Li <laughs> Linus! Hi! Hi! Here, take a bottle. There you go. My hands are kind of full because I don't... <laughs> Linus! Come on! There you go. That's a few levels of sizes. <laughs> I thought you had another one on. I thought Leonard was on a, on a light leash for a second there. They came back and then they ran back. They know, they know where home is, actually. Yeah. Oh, this guy's going to figure out what's the tree here. But he's not giving. Oh, he wasn't a bottle baby, so he doesn't know anything about bottles. Oh, careful, Lenny.
see, Lenny's uh, right up on his tippy toes. Oh, and actually that little guy can get more on the tippy toes than him. I swear, I swear. You, you drank the whole thing. I swear it's a heavy ramble. Yep. I'm surprised how quiet he is on a leash. You're doing a great job, sweetheart. Oh, that's it. Here, I'll, I'll take this and see if anyone wants oh, more. Lenny? Le Leonard? Oh, I'll just go back and see if anyone else. There they go. They've had, they've had what they wa wanted. Katie, don't do that. He doesn't need help. He's doing a great job without you. So demanding. Hi, Lincoln. some drags. There you go, sweetheart. That's it. That's all she wrote. You gonna go back to your buddies now? You probably want to go back. Katie, he doesn't need help. up there pro protesting for her food. That's hot lips. Arnie, look who's demanding food. Hot 
lips up there. Sorry? That's hot lips up there. Hi, Lambert. Hi. Hi, Daddy. These are the keeper boys. and quiet. Too bad I didn't have something to measure decibels. It's quite loud. So because we haven't dewormed this group, the adults, yet, we had removed them off their pasture because it was definitely overgrazed and we didn't want them picking up parasites or damaging the fields but we've brought the ram lambs in now and we want to bush hog their field which is over here and the grass is really long and gone to head but there's enough grass that these girls could probably take a significant amount of that grass down before we put bush hog it so since they haven't been dewormed yet, we figure that they'd be safe to go in there for a few days just to help make Arnie's job a little easier by getting a lot of it eaten down themselves. So we're gonna let them out there and have a new little field for a little while. Hi girls! They've been locked up for a few days, so they're pretty excited. <laughs> slow down, slow down, girls. It's a little too fast. This is where somebody always runs into each other. Slow down, slow down. It's not that exciting. Now they just have to see they thought maybe that gate they don't recognize which gate, but we'll gear them over there. Hi! No, don't. Are they really going to run back in? Unbelievable. Okay, I don't know what these guys are thinking right now. Running in and out, in and out. Hi, Big Betty. Try again, girls. Let's lock this gate up so that they don't damage it. Go on. Don't come back in. Okay, this time. Ben, come here! Now they've got it, I think. Oh my goodness. They do want to be outside, even in the heat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we'll run over to the fence here and see how they've done. Because we only had a few ram lambs out here, so they have grazed off a lot. But as you can see, there's a lot of long grass in here too. And I'm guessing these girls are going to be able to pick away at it and get it down to just scrub very quickly. Ben and Max, come here!
And if they don't find the grass appealing, no harm done, they'll just come back and they'll have had a good romp out there. Right now, nobody's stopping to graze. They're on the move. They're exploring the pasture first. And once they calm down a bit, they should, they should start to spread out and start eating. But, yep. They've been locked up for, I don't know, quite a while. <laughs> and they're pretty excited, I can see. Yeah, it's just all running. There's not a lot of grass. It's a lot of it's gone to head. And sheep aren't interested in grass that's gone to head. But there should be enough leaves, I'm thinking, because it still looks pretty dense, that they should be able to get a fair amount more of grazing done. Anyway, they've quieted down a little bit. Looks like two here are gonna head in already. But we'll see. I gave him the opportunity anyway. So, yep. Two came in. I see what's bothering them. Flies. See, head down. Twitchy. Tails flicking. Pure fear. Don't want the flies. Do you guys have flies? Yeah, you don't like the flies. That's okay. So Arnie just finished mowing down the paddock where the Dorset ewe lambs used to go into, you know, where they would only graze the front of the pasture and not the back. He cut that down. And now he's gonna go into the field where those adult ewes were. So we're in the pasture where the ewes used to be. You can see where he cut the pathways. It's a little bit greener where it's growing back. But the area Arnie's cutting, from a distance it looks like there's still a lot of grass there for them to eat. But we'll go up closer in a minute. the grass that he cut down there's still some there but it's like really thin and if you looked at this grass you'd say oh there's a lot of grass here to graze still but upon closer inspection if you look at all these stalks there's no leaves on them and that goes for pretty well all of them in here there's just the odd leaf so what they've done is they've left the seed heads up top and they've pulled as much of the leaves off as possible and that's it. Now they're going to have to root down below and get the shoots that are down here that are growing up. But when they're doing that, you're defeating the purpose because all the grass here that's up in seed with the leaves off, it's dead dormant, um, has no nutritional value anymore, the animals won't eat it, it won't grow any farther, and it actually depresses regrowth for the rest of the pasture. So if you leave the sheep on here, they will pick out these little ones that are growing underneath, but because these are young ones, 
they're gonna eat it to the ground and you'll actually damage your field. And for anyone who's planted hay fields, it's a very expensive process. Grass seeds are not free. So what you wanna do when it's reached a point that looks like this is you're gonna bite the bullet. You're gonna wanna say, oh, they can probably graze a lot more, but it really is the wrong thing to think because when they're grazing low to the ground and picking those little fresh shoots that are trying to come up, they're picking up parasites. They're pulling the little plants out by the roots, so they're gonna kill the plant. They could kill it themselves by getting parasites. And all this long stuff is dormant, so it's not gonna grow. However, when you cut it all down, it's like mowing your lawn. In a few days, uh, the plant uh, feels like it needs to grow now because the seeds are gone. It's done its purpose. It's reseeded itself. And now it's going to grow again. And that's how you get your regrowth on your pastures. And, it, and the longevity on your pastures too. Overgrazing kills your pastures. And leaving them all stalks like this actually defeats the purpose too because nothing will grow. So get a bush hog and cut it down. It also depresses your weeds because right now, especially in dry conditions where you have dirt patches showing through the fields maybe, uh, wherever you have a dirt patch, a weed is going to grow. Weeds are survivors. They're looking for those little patches and you don't want the weeds to set in. So you gotta just rip it all off. The weeds will actually drown out your uh, good grasses that you've planted. So cut it down with a bush hog. Um, we use a bush hog in a lot of the fields that are a lot smaller than this. And the mulched up grass from the bush hog acts as kind of uh, plant food for the fields and extra nourishment as, as that matter disintegrates and goes back into the soil. This field has a lot of stalks and stuff. Uh, not overly. I'm thinking you could probably get away with leaving it here, in my opinion, and it would just disintegrate back into the field. But Ar Arnie thought that he might be able to get his mower and, you know, not his mower, his baler, and maybe get like six bales off here and use it as bedding. You wouldn't use it as feed because like I said, they've eaten all the leaves off. So there is no feed here, but there's plenty of nice bedding. So we'll see if he thinks there's enough. It doesn't look like there's very much at all. And I'm assuming he's gonna go into the first paddock they were in too, um, because it also is grazed right down. And from here you can see maybe a few like darker, patches that are sticking up and those dark patches are actually thistles and, and weeds and stuff so like I said you want to get those cut down before they go to seed because obviously you don't want the seeds spreading into your field and the more you cut them down the less weeds you'll have in the future because they won't regrow but I'm guessing by the look of this field we need at least a month's worth of rain uh, before any sheep are coming back here. Um, it was just raining and already that, that ground is pretty dry. Um, I, I'm guessing that's why the fires aren't going out. It feels like it's a lot when it comes down in a downpour, but I guess after a month of drought, an inch and a quarter of rain really doesn't cut it. So these are the ewes that were so anxious to get back out when I opened the gates 10 minutes ago. 
See how many are back in here? I'd say half are outside and half have come back in. The problem today is, again, it's the extremely high humidity, which is making it feel way hotter than it is. And when you touch the sheep's wall, it's wet. And you can imagine standing around in 80, 90 degree temperatures wearing a wet woolen sweater. Definitely not pleasant, although this group has been sheared. But still, they've already grown back probably a quarter of an inch. So, and then on top of that, we got smoke everywhere. It's really not the nicest of conditions, no matter how you slice it. Well, it started off kind of like it was going to be a nice cool day, but it quickly dried up, got really hot and humid again. The ground has sucked up all the moisture, as you could see by the pastures, um, how dry they were already. And uh, I guess I got to do some mowing of the lawn since Arnie's mowing fields. So I hope you enjoyed your day at Utopia Farms. If you do, you know what? Give us a like, send a comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and of course, join us again tomorrow. And until then, bye for now.